Today we are in Danefront Valley at a four bedroom, four bathroom French inspired mansion on a stand of just under a thousand meters squared. This incredible property is going to be on the market for just under 6,450,000 rand. So what I'd like you to do is come with me, let's take a tour around this beautiful home and let's see if you're going to be its next fit. And here we are, first things first, let's talk about this living room. The first thing that you see is this face brick wall made out of sandstone with the fireplace underneath. Now this fireplace is more so, or that is at least the make of the fireplace, cast iron, closed combustion, so you never need to worry about your living room smelling like a fireplace. Just to the right there, you'll see the coal, which is most likely going to be my Christmas gift after this season of the Home Shopper Show. Stunning down lighting, yeah, stackable French doors all the way off to the side really gives such a nice feeling of air and that indoor outdoor living. It's so nice and cool in here with just the right amount of light and light is provided by the down lights built into the ceiling. Another thing you may have noticed for your eagle eye viewers here is the sound system that is built in right up at the top so you can enjoy your entertainment within this area. Behind me, one of my favorite features, it's a wallpaper that is reminiscent of those New York apartments with a white face brick wall. Really like it, it is such a nice touch. And around me, you can see just all the options for decor. You can bring your own style to this apartment. It's so open, almost like a blank canvas, but it gives you that homey feel, which is sometimes often missing with the showcase houses we do. This one really does feel like a home. We've got two split open doors here that leads into your TV area. And the TV area, of course, another fireplace. This one is gas, again, surrounded by that feature wall made out of sandstone, a recessed area here for your TV, wood flooring, giving it a break from the tiles you find in your living room area. So I do like that it feels even more posh, even more closed off and comfortable. Down lighting above me in the ceiling. And over here, what I'd like you to notice is, I did mention French inspired, so we do have the plantation shutters that you can close off and yet open for a bit of light or a bit of privacy. But all of these windows, bay windows, French style upstairs, even nicer. So wait for that, don't go anywhere. And then some more plantation shutters leads you outside into your garden area as well as your patio. So let's take a look at that. And here we are outside on the patio just behind me. You can see the creeper running up the wall. Really gives you that villa feel, making you know you've purchased into something incredibly special. Now, the outside area behind me, you can see the pool as well as the expansive ground with some gardening as well as a fountain all the way at the end there. As I'd mentioned before, the land area of this home is just under a thousand meters squared with 480 of those allocated to the home itself. Yeah, we've got full on countertops for all of your entertainment needs, marble countertop as well, and then a bra area over here. Now, talking about entertainment, you've got the countertops, you've got all the space, you've also got the speaker system set up outside, ready for you. So speakers, place for food, place for entertainment, what are we missing? Well, what we're missing is the alcohol. Lockdown restrictions have been eased and that means that I get to take a look at what alcohol is on offer here and we all know how fond I am of wine. This right here is one of the bedrooms that has been repurposed as a bar area that makes a perfect bar area with easy access off to your patio, some cupboard space in the corner and those bay doors opening on to the French inspired 
outside back garden with lemon trees as well as plenty of other space for you to really exercise your green thumb. But let's walk out of this bedroom slash bar area and you'll find the first toilet. This is being repurposed as your guest toilet since that's the bar. Let's take a look at this toilet. Let's come out and then it's off to the dining room area and the kitchen. Let's go. Now this guest toilet has a walk-in shower with a glass frame, beautiful slate backing, and then you've got your toilet, single vanity and mirror just above that. And just next to that storage room, you've got two wrought iron gates that close and lock, providing you with that extra means of security. But really in Dainford Valley Estate, security is never a concern. It is fully access controlled with security guards patrolling at all times. As well as, on that note, now that I have mentioned it, access to the school that is on the premises. And right here, I am standing in your dining room area. Generally, this space will be devoted to a dining room table, but the owners are moving. So they've shifted around some furniture, but let your imagination go wild. We've got some cute little dogs just sitting outside here. But you can put a perfect round table here, surrounded by chairs. And this is where you're going to be having your breakfast, where you're going to be having your dinners, even some of your formal dinners over here a stunning huge window looking out from all sides, both from the entrance as well as from the dining room and the sitting room area onto that fountain, onto this central area, central courtyard area that is stunning. It really does bring that sense of grandeur to a home like this. Over here, this is actually a very, very nice countertop. Wood countertop, this is your floating island, some storage underneath, you can set everything out here. Also makes a perfect breakfast nook. And on this side, stunning marble countertops. You've got your four cooktop electric stove, as well as the oven underneath and your extractor, all of them Bosch. As you can see, plenty and plenty of under counter storage some display cabinets here if you want to display your pretty crockery and some windows looking out onto that back area. Over here you have your chef's sink because really what kitchen is complete without one but this isn't the only sink we know that just over this side scullery area with a pantry right here if we open this up all your dry goods will be in there but then over here here is your real scullery area, double sink, under counter storage for all of your appliances there. Access off to your staff quarters, the home does come with the staff quarters as well as the side area going all the way out to the carport. Now that we've talked about the scullery area and we've touched on the pantry, right over here is a really cool feature. COVID's made working from home become so prevalent for all of us and this caters for it, this home caters for it. Run on in, don't be shy because right here we have your very own office space slash study slash really whatever you want to make it. And what makes it so cool is these doors right here, as I mentioned, leads all the way out so you can have people coming on in and leaving without disturbing the rest of the home. And a really cool feature is that over there, another fountain, really nice, got some greenery in there, some tulips. I think all you flower fanatics can correct me if I'm wrong, but super big space, lots of light, lots of air. You can use this as an office away from the office, or this could be the start of your new business if you are an entrepreneur. And this door tucked away in the corner opens up onto your courtyard area if you'd like to touch on some gardening. Now, as I take a quick stroll to that staircase, let's talk about another feature is that study has its own access to your parkade and that parkade has a double garage. So you've got space for two cars within this home, completely closed off and weatherproof. But it's time now to take a quick jaunt up the staircase and let's see what the other bedrooms have to offer. Now coming up the staircase, you'll notice the wrought iron balustrades beautifully complementing the rest of this home and these slack windows go floor to ceiling with frosted inserts providing you with some privacy. And then the wrought iron chandelier being a centerpiece and bringing this whole stairwell together, making a somewhat bland area turn into a real spectacular way to come up to the rest of the bedrooms. And we're gonna be talking about those right now. Over here is the master bedroom, and we have to save that for last. So let's talk about this whole area here. You've got your linen cupboards, easy access to run downstairs and upstairs. And then the first bedroom we're gonna be talking about is this one right over here. All the upstairs bedrooms, all three of them have their own ensuite bathroom. And here is the first one. I mean, how beautiful 
is this bedroom. Behind me, you've got those French inspired windows again with your plantation shutters that you can close and open however you see fit. I've got plenty of cupboard space over here, almost country inspired. And then my favorite feature of this home is this massive bay window over here with those French shutters again. Looking down onto the courtyard, the designer of this house has really understood that that is a focal point and has tried to give every little room a bit of that and that bit of specialness and you can feel it and it is quite enjoyable but we do need to talk about this ensuite bathroom so let's head on in and let's take a look at what offers walking onto this ensuite bathroom the first thing you'll see is your walk-in shower with glass front and slate tiles the slate tiles continue onto the floor with your single vanity plenty of under counter storage and then you've got dimmer switches both in the bathroom as well as the bedroom Coming in to the second of the three bedrooms located upstairs. Now this one is much larger as you can see. Again, ensuite bathroom and look at all the space within this bedroom. Plenty of cupboard storage there. You've got your ensuite bathroom there and this massive wall behind me that you can do with as you will. Some key features I'd like to note here, other than the size, you can see how easily this king, king bed fits in. Plenty of downlighting, love it. The flooring, the carpeting, yeah, I think is something that you'd also take note of. Really nicely done. I believe it's flax carpeting. You've got your plantation shutters here, doors that open outwards onto this Shakespearean balcony. It's a cute little balcony looking out onto your ground space and onto that stunning blue pool. The windows here open upwards so you can lean out them, get some air, get some breeze in here. Again, this bedroom, just like all the other bedrooms in the home, or at least all the upstairs bedrooms comes with its very own ensuite bathroom. Your ensuite bathroom within this bedroom again is almost the twin of the one we had just looked at previously. You've got your walk-in shower, glass framed, your very own bathtub, toilet set off just behind your frosted window and then your single vanity mirror above it and storage below. But it is time now to go to the creme de la creme, the master suite. We're gonna take a look at what a master suite in this incredible French inspired home looks like. So follow me. And here we are within the master suite, the creme de la creme. We've all been waiting to see it. This is how the king and queen are gonna be living and you're gonna be living lavish. Again, a huge space, this bed fits in super easily and this is quite a solid bed so you know if this has got space you can run a mock with however you'd want to design this again the theme of the home the shutters throughout we've got two windows right in front of me and then those bay doors that open out onto your balcony and the king and queen have to have a very nice balcony so let's shift around you've got a massive balcony out here overlooking your grounds and that focal point the fountain over there including this incredible blue pool you really can't ask for more but in this master suite, there is more. There's a lot more. So come along. You know, no master suite is complete without your very own walk-in closet. And here it is. I love the paint scheme and how it goes with the rest of this house. So for a lot of you, if this scheme fits your style, which I think it will, plenty of cupboard space. And a little bit different, this cupboard space is all closed off. There's doors throughout this walk-in closet. So it does make it look a lot neater. Over here, you've got your dressing table, your dressing area with some down lighting over here, providing all your lighting needs. You can sit here and get ready. Now let's take a look at your master bathroom. We're gonna start off in the corner here. You've got your walk-in shower, glass framed, slate backed. You've got your marble countertop with your double vanity, double mirror, and plenty of under counter storage. And then right over here, You've got your sunken jacuzzi hot tub, some frosted glass windows that you can open up and get a nice cool breeze in, overlooking your back garden. You've got your taps built into this area, really giving you a feel of a special occasion when you're using this. And that's exactly what you want within your bathroom area. And then coming across, towel rack, little place to sit down, and then your toilet, which is closed off by a door over here and another window in there. Love the way they've done this. Well, let's take a walk back to that second bedroom and that Shakespearean balcony, and let me see how good I remember one of his plays. Romeo, oh Romeo, where for art thou, Romeo? And if this isn't a Shakespearean balcony, I don't know what is, and I think this is the perfect place 
for us to have our outro. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to purchase this incredible home in Danefern Valley, what I'd like you to do is contact Garby from England Focus. All of her details will be on screen now as well as in the description. Don't hesitate because I think this home is going to fly off the market. But that is all for today. So for myself, Chad Rivera's the team at Private Property and every single person at the Home Shopper Show, thank you so much for tuning in and we cannot wait to see you again on another episode. Goodbye. Thank you.